mercy and truth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel, not the, not the Gospel, the meditation for March the 10th, 2022, that is taken from the book of Proverbs. My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your baths will overflow with new wine. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor detest his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, just as a father this, the son in whom he delights. Happy is the man who finds wisdom, and the man who gains understanding. For her proceeds are better than the profits of silver, and her gain than fine gold. She is more precious than ruby, rubies, and all the things you may desire cannot compare with her. Length of days is in her right hand, and her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of unpleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her, and happy are all who retain her. Glory, glory be to God, to God in his mercy. And again, I only would like to to keep two of the words that we have heard, just two of them. Truth, mercy and truth. First mercy, then truth. And then you will be esteemed by God. And don't worry if he chastises you, because we all need to be chastised. We behave very bad, and we need the chastisements of God, precisely because that shows that he loves us. Isn't that incredible? Because he loves me, he will correct me. And that, rather than make me upset against him, should make me love him even more. As long as I am able to keep mercy and truth in my heart. Compared to those that say, God is love, God is love, God is mercy, and forget about the truth. Then it is like they taking just half of the Holy Scripture and is preaching on that. But that is not the whole thing. That would be like taking a car, cutting, up, cutting it off in half. You will not be able to drive it. It will take you. Even worse, when they do that, they think that, and there is a great majority that will lead and lean into that. And then they start behaving like pigs or worse than animals, behaving actually, dwelling in the passions of the devils preaching that God is love and they will be forgiven and they are already saved. That is not the true. That is not the church of God. You have to have always mercy and truth. May the Lord God, who is merciful, gives us the mercy, His mercy and His truth in our hearts forever. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. 